we've got something like uh, two levels. There's a central system, the European hub, and that is the point that manufacturers and parallel distributors connect to. We've then got a second tier, that is these national medicines verification systems, almost all of which will be blueprint uh, systems, that the pharmacists and their systems connect to, and that is also the point where the wholesalers connect to. The central system and the overall architecture are sort of uh, owned and administered and overseen by EMBO, but the uh, national systems are set up and operated by the national medicines verification organizations, supported by the European medicines verification uh, organization, obviously. If we look at the data flows, I think the main point here is that there is actually quite a bit of information that needs to travel back and forth. You know, we, uh, on the previous slides, we just said, you know, for a manufacturer, there's an upload of unique identifiers, end of story. But of course, it's not just that. There is actually some master data that needs to be uploaded first. There is the pack, uh, the, the batch data, the pack data. There will be uh, other checks on legitimacy of the players. Alerts will come back, any query responses will come back. So there's a lot going on here. And these uh, interfaces are a lot richer than uh, you may think. So one of the thoughts that needs to be pondered by every manufacturer is, you know, what are the technical capabilities that they've actually got today? And what is it they need to establish in order to play their role in this, their legally required role in this uh, whole setup? And the answer is you need to have very capable systems that uh, are very reliable and that manage that complexity. Not only that, of course, you also need to have the right processes to support these, and you need to have good and solid data management, not just the transactional data, but also your master data, because that is crucial and the core and foundation of this. Otherwise, you're just uh, working to the old uh, you know, garbage in, garbage out uh, uh, principle. So the European hub is a cloud-based solution, and it is truly a hub. So it sits there as a connection point between the manufacturer systems and the national systems. It receives the data from, the pack data from the manufacturers and passes it on to the national systems. It does a bit more than that, of course. Uh, it supports uh, a number of special cases. The main one is uh, shared packs, so they're quite common in Europe, multi-market packs. A pack that uh, the manufacturer does not know at the point of uploading, is this pack going to turn up in Ireland or in the UK in pharmacy? And so when the pack is dispensed in the pharmacy in the UK, somehow the corresponding unique identifier that was also uploaded to Ireland needs to be decommissioned. So that is a functionality that the European hub uh, supports in almost real time. The other thing is out-of-market queries. So it could be possible for various reasons that a Spanish pack is uh, scanned in France. And so the French system has not, not, no knowledge of that pack. And obviously there will ne then need to be additional query transactions that again is supported by this infrastructure centered around the hub to make sure that the correct verification uh, message can be given back relating to that Spanish pack. And then a parallel distribution. So there's some reconciliation mechanism built in to make sure that the uh, European system has not got an Achilles heel opening up uh, floodgate to potential uh, products coming in and being sort of created out of nothing. So a parallel distributor that consumes Greek packs, for example, to make German packs will need to uh, make sure that they reconcile the required numbers of dosages of Greek packs that are produced uh, that are consumed in the process when they create their new uh, German pack that they're going to put on the market. The hub then needs to uh, clearly uh, be very technically uh, capable in supporting the connectivity, security, and also checking the legit legitimacy of the uh, connecting clients. There's also some basic reporting that's being provided, and there's various ways in which you can connect to the hub. But it is not a central European database. It doesn't hold a great deal of European master data. It holds some, which it needs to root information. But uh, in the long term, the real repository uh, for master data 
will actually be outside here, the EMA database to be established. It's not a central register for all medicinal packs, so the hub does not hold on to the unique identifier data. Uh, it, it holds on to batch information, but the unique identifier data is deleted from the hub after successful transmission into the national systems, and it's not a verification system. That is what the national systems do. So they are the point of connection for pharmacists and also wholesalers to carry out their legally required verifications at the point of dispense or risk-based checks, early dispense and so on. So it's at these systems where uh, any uh, falsification attempts will be uh, spotted. These systems need to be fully and are going to be fully interoperable with each other and the hub. And they obviously also need to satisfy uh, high requirements uh, regarding security and also confidentiality. And they need to support fast response times in the pharmacy. So one of the key requirements is that this uh, system cannot impede the uh, workflows in the pharmacies and, present, uh, and start creating queues. Uh, audit trails are maintained here as well, and we've already mentioned the supervisory role of the uh, national competent authorities. 